Okay, what we got here is a uh, spindle out of a uh, Atlas uh, closing uh, 4800 lathe. And the bearings uh, have been removed and it, I had to use heat to uh, remove them. And I was concerned that, you know, that heat may have warped the shaft because, you know, heat can do funny things to metal. So what we're going to do here is do a simple run out uh, test on the shaft. I've got it mounted on precision bead box. Uh, not that you actually have to use precision box. I mean, anything that's relatively stable. Uh, it allows that shaft to turn smoothly while you're measuring it is good. And then all you need to do is make sure you're dial indicators perpendicular uh, to where you're measuring. In this case I'm uh, measuring the uh, point between the uh, where the chuck mounts and where the bearing mounts. Um, if it's good here it's probably going to be good just about everywhere on the shaft. Uh, there is quite a bit of damage to the shaft. There's a lot of scoring now the uh, front bearing, because it was a press fit, uh, there's no scoring there, it never spun. But at one time, apparently, this thing spun. And there you go, there you can see it. And so there's, you know, there's some concern there too. Alright, let me set this up on a tripod and we'll go ahead and spin her up and see what we got. Okay, keep your eye on the dial. I'll go ahead and spin her. Um, let's see where we're at. Okay, looks like we've got a good shaft. Uh, the next step is to press the bearings on and check the uh, run out actually in the machine uh, when it's mounted up and the uh, bearings are preloaded. Um, that's probably when the damage on the tail end of the shaft is going to show, but uh, we'll find out. All right.